Well, snow may be off the major roads tonight, but for some people it is too late. As Matthew Smith reports, rural fire departments ran into trouble during the weekend storm. They even said that, you know, that's one of their worst fears is a fire up there because they know they have very limited access. Little access and a major problem. With the heart of the storm hitting, Louisville Fire Chief Jason McClune tells me there was little hope for his firefighters. Even a day later, the drive up to the home, nearly 45 degrees, it's treacherous. At 3.30 the morning of the fire, it was impassable, even for this volunteer fire department's four-wheel drive vehicles. It's hard to stand there and watch, you know, a house on fire, and, you know, you're trying your hardest to get water to it. That involved five different fire departments pulling more than 1,500 feet of hose. This large pile, not even enough to go half that far. They slipped, they fell, but they never gave up. A normal day, the response time to this home would have been just five to seven minutes. On Sunday, fire crews could hardly make it to the station. Once they made it to the actual home, it took at least 20 minutes just to get all that hose up the hill. The chief told me once again, pride, it never was lost on these firefighters. In fact, that pride and hopes to keep embers from nearby homes, that's what fueled them to keep going even when they knew that home was a loss. Now, you'll notice we're here at the Gretna Fire Department tonight. That's because another home was lost in a similar fashion here in Sarpy County. In fact, the home valued at nearly $1 million, and we've got a picture to prove well, there's not much of it left tonight. In fact, all that's left behind is really the bricks that are part of the facade of that structure. Obviously, roads are much better tonight, but for the people involved in this, both the firefighters and the homeowners, uh, this past winter storm is something they're not going to forget anytime soon. Reporting live in Gretna with photographer Roger Hamer, I'm Matthew Smith, WOWT 6 News.